What's that box you got there? Oh, uh, wait, how's that artist? What, this box? I have no idea what you're talking about. So, um, we have fantastic people in our in our community, wonderful fans, people that I absolutely adore. All of you are wonderful. And one of them uh, sent us a, a box uh, for the members of the Redacted Reports, it's as amazing. you can tell by the green triangle. <laughs> what's in the box? I don't know. Well, what's in the box? Actually, that's yes. not true. I know what's in the box. But no. <laughs> are we going to do an unboxing here now, or are you going to save it for that? I'm, I'm going to save it for, for when we do the live talk back on April 27th at 7 p.m. Pacific time. All of the members of the Redacted Reports are going to be here live in studio. You can ask us questions in the chat. You can come and hang out with us, and you can watch us fumble our way through what the hell happened in season three. So, uh, yes, come and hang out with us and you'll get to see us open this box live and in color, which I'm very excited about. It's from our own crocheting guinea pig. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that anti-doxing uh, hand, hand, handiwork you just did. There. Nice. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have a black marker to properly redact her, her address, but you know, her reports. I do my best. Uh, uh. <laughs> It had better not be a surprise puppy. I will be very sad. Yeah, it will be dead oh. if it is, because it was in the PO box for a while. Why would you put that out there? <laughs> because Tomago Toro right decided to, to ask. <laughs> Thanks, Tomago. Why would Schrodinger's you put that cat. out there? Schrodinger's cat? Schrodinger's. What's Schrodinger's cat? Really? Well, you know what? Here's, here's the deal. It's dead. <laughs> yeah. exactly. It does so not matter if you've been observed or not observed. So, 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 the, so the idea it's behind right. Schrodinger's cat is that is that uh, uh, everything is in a state of being and not being until it is observed, and so a cat in a box is both alive and dead until you open the uh, until you open the box and you see which it is. Hmm. Interesting. But we have now the puppy. In, in in quantum mechanics that is a, a legitimate phenomenon. However, cats are either dead or alive. There is no <laughs> both. <That's> true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you don't know which it is until you observe it because the act of observing changes things. It doesn't. No, it's either dead later. or it's alive. <laughs> you just true. don't know it's until you look at it. Is that the same thing as like if it's But it's one of those two. It is not both. Or oh, neither. Oh, yeah. Anyway. We, 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 we don't know. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're, he chose we're, the wrong we're, metaphor to explain well, his quantum mechanics. He, 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 he used the metaphor to, to, to describe how dumb it sounded when other people described yeah. his things, and that's what, it's, that's what stuck mm -hmm. because don't put stuff like that into the universe if you don't want it to stick. Oh man, we should learn that about the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, oh, we man, are, we are going. In, we're not going into Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. So let's uh, let's. Uh... Oh, anyway, welcome back, everyone. Sweet. That's a awesome. great like, cut hi. point for the podcast. Um, actually, let's give a, a, a moment. Mm. Hello and welcome back to Chaos Agents. That's who we are. We are the Chaos Agents, and tonight we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, and we have just been through. A fun, fun time. A wild goose chase, one might say. Yeah. <laughs> there was no goose involved. It was a dwarf. Not yet. Skinny dwarf with a red beard. All right. Uh, you are entering back into your house. Your house. Our house. On the Some second door. floor, the <laughs> first bedroom. It is a larger bedroom. Ka and... Do you know, full house? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Was that the Olsen twins falling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows your name. No, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's uh -huh. here, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. 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 That was my yeah. Olsen oh, yeah. twin. <laughs> yeah, we stay on track here. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you. What track? <laughs> this second floor of this house is uh, mainly bedrooms and bathrooms. Uh, there is a one study with a couple of interesting. Uh, closets in them. As you work your way through this upstairs, all of the bedrooms, the study, it has been tossed down the hallway until you reach the last bedroom on the left as you are walking down the hallway. It was in the process of being so the mm, the mattress is off the bed. However, the desks, the bookshelves, they were not. So they just broke in, or recently. Hmm. Did we interrupt that? I think so. I think so. Oh my god. What did they want in the bed? Did they find it? They might have thought that something was hidden under the mattress or something. People do that. They'll, you know take gold and put it in socks and stick it under their mattresses because they trust it more than the banks. 
No, there was intent here. There has to be something they were looking for. It seems like, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder. Um. My brain just did a just did a connection thing. What got stolen from your village? Uh, oh, well, wonderful. We're in the mansion. Yes, we're we're home, I guess. It is very rare I trust people outside of my home. First thing. So if I tell any of you, it's going to all of our graves. <clears throat> Deal. And if you tell someone, I will quickly show you to your grave. Agreed? Sounds fair. Mm -hmm. Deal, deal, deal. Yeah. Awesome. You're good kids, even though you're very frustrating. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that sentence. You're correct. <laughs> Haldor said nothing. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's, it's true. I'm sorry. We should roll some giveaways. We should. Uh, giveaways. <laughs> Uh, you should have five? waited till he said, so this scar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, we need to roll the giveaways. All right, we're going we're gonna to start off with uh, the Nord Games PDF. Uh, this is uh, globally, worldwide. Woo! Squeal the Bard! Yay! Squeal! Not global. Well, no. he is on the globe. Well, technically, yes. <laughs> but I can also drive to his house in like 30 minutes. Yay! Oh my god, are you saying the globe is round? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All right, uh, and now, uh, hold on, let me. That doesn't make any sense. The globe is round. A globe? Yes, <laughs> the, globe. the globe. The globe is round. Members of members of the flat, of the flat Earth, Earth Society are all over the globe. They are. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Indeed, they are. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom ago. I'm 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 just I'm just waiting for um, Bomb Clancy to show up and start and start her reign of terror again. Oh, uh -huh. Clancy had a habit of winning at least once in, once a month every month. Oh, really? Mm. All right, has uh, a lot of swag now. The oh, next yeah. night bot. Uh, this is going to be for a merch item from our merch Ooh. store. Duke Flea! Duke Flea! Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to agree with the hashtag yes. rigged. <laughs> now, you know what? This is just, it's, it rolls based on ease of delivery. I mean, really. It couldn't be easier to deliver these things. It's true. Oh, well. Except the, except for you're not going to drive a PDF over to Ben's house. No, I'm not. But I am. Gonna, <laughs> no, I'm not. But I am going to see Fleet this weekend. So if you want to send things with me, I can take them. Perfect. 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 So uh, I know it looks like we're trying to save on shipping. Here. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> we're just appreciating the convenience. This was not planned in any way. <laughs> PDFs are easy to email. <laughs> Merch is easy to hand to oh, me. It's funny. <laughs> Because I know a lot of people. That happens. <laughs> All right. I've whispered. I've put it in the giveaways. I'm going to do shipping tomorrow. What well, crazy I mean, no, no pressure, but tomorrow I'm going to get another shipping thing done. So mm -hmm. if you can get it, let me know what you want before then. That's great. Well... I... I yes. So... It's tossed. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so you said that, that something had been stolen. All and right. Yes. I cannot stress how serious it is. Wars have been waged for this item. And we didn't, and the village doesn't even know it has it. Or had it. Okay. Okay, I'm trusting you all. Y yeah. And telling you in three. In two. In what? It was the axe of the Dwarvish Lords. Do I know what that is? I mean, the name sounds impressive enough. <laughs> and, 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 and I, know, I know you're all in shock. <laughs> and I, the player, know exactly what that is because I've which, seen it in a game. But which one? There's so many dwarves with so many axes. No, no. This this is one. This is all. This is all capitals. This is like a thing. It was pristine. Basically, all gold with jewels embedded in, and a silver edge on the axe Ooh. is what gave me this scar. The thief sliced right up across my body. Wait, and you said that the village didn't even know you had it? All except the founder and his family. Oh. So it's his fault? In a way, yes. I protected my village not knowing any of the, the people that would come after it. Sure. But it's been a well-kept secret. I'm glad we didn't say it in there. It was a good not, call, everybody. Hmm. Not good kept enough. When was it stolen? Around... Fifteen years ago. I haven't seen it since. Were there ever... Were, it, it took me two years to heal from the accident. I wasn't born yet, so... Oh. 
That many. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you were doing. <laughs> for, the audio, for the podcasters, uh, Haldor was a little confused as to what 15 years was. Uh, I, would have been, I would have been two. Okay, so neither, none of you can be alibis or know about anything that happened. No. no. Um, were there other outsiders that came into your village besides Albi? It was increasingly rare. That's why I at least remember Albi, but no one else. Uh, would I know of any barbarians in the mountains above Ishkil? Uh, yeah, there's a barbarian tribe up there. Yeah? Um, keeps to themselves, mostly. Mm-hmm. Um, lives off the land. You know, you probably have... trade some with them. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I know barbarians in the mountains. What mountains are you from, uh, well, Bartholomew? I don't know if I can give you the village name, mainly because, well, it's not protecting anything now, actually. Uh, in fact, no, I'll get to that later. We, <laughs> I lived in the south. I came from the south. Mm. New Moon Village. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't moons ago. Uh, do you know who took it? No. It was in the dead of night. You did not see the face of the, of the person, person that did this to you? He was this some sort of horrific, man. terribly ugly thing to you that you okay. have to live with the rest of your life. All right. Okay. Every time you take off your pants. <laughs> And I wear it as a badge of revenge. <laughs> I, I will kill him the second I see him. But I don't know what his face was. He was some sort of masked warrior. What kind of mask? I believe it was Majora's mask. <laughs> well, the, 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 the kinds of masks that the, the people don tell you a lot about who they are. Mm. Because it's some aspect of themselves. Do... Mm, I'm going to ask you... What would I remember of the mask, like of the description of it? Do you have dark vision? No. It was dark. Mm. Ooh, too dark. Yeah. And there was no moon that night? No stars? Uh, he was in our home when he did it. He oh. completely ransacked the place. Was he it snuck in? in and kicked us on his way out. So we are, it, it was in your house? In, well, I was staying with um, the leader of the village. He needed protection. I was going to be there to help. So, let me get this right. Mm -hmm. The leader is the only one who knew about the dwarf axe. Bingo. So, and the leader is dead? The leader is still alive. So I, I feel like that's the... Am I the only one? That's the no. person you should I, I talk mean, to. That's <laughs> what I would think. I have to agree with. Well, my my my. Uh, it, <laughs> but but here's, uh, here's the thing. It's it, it was a dwarf that was here. Yeah, but our village has been a lot around longer. Was the mass assailant that just on short, tall? Uh, around my height. Very tall. Okay. Mm. Giant dwarf. Giant dwarf. <laughs> You're somewhat higher than by Giant the falling. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it just it just occurs to me that maybe Albie knew something about it because a dwarf was here ransacking his house after he died. <laughs> what is that face? Fifteen years all, ago. All dwarves are wanted. No, 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 of course not. It's just an interesting connection that the axe of the dwarven lords was stolen from your village and that a dwarf was here. Right, oh, second thing. This is odd. How well do you remember Albie? Very vague. He, he was a nice person. That's mainly the gist I got of him. Helping the younger ones. I mean, maybe, maybe you, is... your leader told him about it. Could Could Albie met head? your leader? Yes, he met everyone in the village. Okay, I gotta... I'm just gonna ask. You guys... Do you guys think that Albie was... Well... 
he'll kind of, Glox is gonna kind of gesture to the, everything. He's like, I mean, I don't know him very well, but I. Do you think he was maybe there was more to him than we thought, or? I mean, I know that's a vague this. statement. I just I don't know if he was a good person. Huh. I know you all. Have, I'm sorry. I don't mean to like like kind of poop on your guys' memory. I know. I don't really. No, care. no. Uh, why? I don't know. I just think. What 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 was your experience with okay. him, Locks? It's just this is okay. I'm uh, I mean like we were so he. I don't remember what city it was. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, Tom? Nothing. I because I am loving this that is oh, happening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, when I thought of a murder mystery. <laughs> red go. stringing. Yeah. Red stringing is, is, is one of my yeah. favorite things. It is the thing that I love the most about the redacted reports. Go on. Uh, Just holding strings. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can reach the tall pins that I can't reach. <laughs> I just, I, I, okay, so when I only knew him for a short amount of time, and it was really recent, like you guys are all talking about, like you met him when you were like younger and a while ago or whatever. I just, I, it wasn't that long ago, and like. No, I was, a, had, I was about your age, so maybe he looks for people who are. About that age? I was like 10 or 11. You guys? Same? I mean, he was a teenager. I met him in his in a younger days. A teen myself. So, yeah, like, recently he, he had us, um, me and some other kids, you know, he taught us some stuff, but I just noticed that, like, he started getting, he's... It seemed like the things he was asking us to do weren't really on the level. Like, was he gonna need to break into places or steal things and see if he could get away with it? Or you know, like, like uh, uh, he, he, he kind of, oh. I guess I mean I, I only know of it like as this, but like, have you ever heard, have ever heard of this thing called like reconnaissance? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The Yes, uh, it's a it's <laughs> scouting, spying, really. Oh, yeah. Information gathering. And he had you doing that? Not me particularly. He just kind of taught me how to, you know, like, survive on the lay of the land. But, like, some of the, um... Uh, he sounds like a good guy. Yeah, well, some of the other kids, uh... Like, I just, I... He was asking them to do more than just teach them how to throw a sling and stuff like that he was so uh, and you i mean yeah i mean you were you know living in the land or around the city yeah it's he was he was telling you what do you, you know what do you see mm -hmm. you know he would have you describe walking into a market what do you see what are the threats mm -hmm. so that's stuff that would be thrown in the, into the mix sure. along with, here's how you start a fire. Here's how you speak Dwarvish. You know, interesting things like that. Yeah. I mean, mo <clears throat> I guess there were a couple things like that, but it was more um, situational awareness. I mean, that's, that's what I would think. But when you... It felt weird to see him sending other kids into a space or into a group or into something and then seemingly, do I know of any specifics? Sorry, I'm sorry guys. Do I know no, of any fine. specifics where this would happen? I wish that we were on Zoom at this point. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean. Like we're, I, we're, we're three we're, weeks later. No, I mean, no. Like three weeks later, somebody's dead. No, no, okay. nothing like. That. Okay, it just seemed weird to me then, guys. It was just, it was. I don't know. I'm sorry. No, it that's. Well, what, what did he make the other children do? Was it violent? No, I, I don't think so. It, I mean, it seems innocent enough. Something just didn't sit quite right with me, guys. It just didn't sit. I don't know. I don't know. Well, well you met him near the. Perhaps end. we can find clues through looking in his house. Hmm. That's real smart, Haldor. It's. He, it's all we have of him. And I mean, for, for, for whatever it's worth, don't feel like you have to keep those kinds of opinions to yourself. We barely knew him. Uh, the fact that he left us this. I know, that's what doesn't make any sense I'm to me. Kind of, I mean, thinking about it, if someone was willing to break in and do this, I'm kind of worried about 
our safety. Well, is we'll be fine. All right. I hope so. Don't like fights. They're not fun. Oh, really? They're a lot of fun. I agree. <laughs> Boy speaks truth this time. They're and not, every time. They're not okay. when you can't wear That's armor right. or use a massive axe or a giant sword. They're, they're just scary. You can learn magic or something like that. I've seen <laughs> other people do it. Or you can pray to a god and it'll give you god magic, you know? Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I did. I did promise a secret for a secret, so I might already do. Not God already, magic. Already do. Oh, you. That's okay. me. Okay. You just hear running up the stairs from Lohawk. <laughs> 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 I, was like, I was unable to protect your secret. That's your word. Yeah. Uh, I already do <clears throat> magic. You. Oh, well, that's perfect, then. You'll be wonderful in combat. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> oh, you're early on. I right. don't get to practice very often. Right. Forget your You have kids. to practice. Okay, look, where I come from, uh, I'm, I'm from the city of Magehaven, and I'm, I'm a sorcerer, and they don't like sorcerers there at all. Mm. Uh, it goes from being just a... It varies. It goes from being a stigma to you're dead, depending. But there's there's nothing really beyond those two. It's never really accepted to be a sorcerer in Mage Haven, so that's what I'm used to. And then people keep telling me that magic is normal out here, and I don't know what to do with that information. Isa, Isa. What? Where do you live? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I'm just, I'm here, but I mean... I don't really live anywhere right now. I had to leave Magehaven because the, the the necromancy college took over. The head of the necromancy college. This is the second time I've heard that word today. It means bringing someone people back from the dead, as the zombies. Yeah, but not good. I feel like we should Very start there for the for the you know figuring out who's bringing the undead back to life, right? They're kind of busy in a, in the coup in uh, Magehaven right now. Okay. Sure. I mean. At least the head of the college is. What? What is that face, Locks? <laughs> no, I thought I just thought I thought I saw you before. Do magic, so it's just kind of cool to hear that you can. Thank you for letting us know. Yeah, it's um, pretty cool. It is kind of cool. It's yeah. It's neat. It's just I've never really been able to talk about it. I mean, my mother knows about it, and my 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 aunt knows about it, but that's uh. That's about it. It's, and then people keep seeing me do it. It's freaking me the fuck out. <laughs> but you're not in Mage Haven. No. You're here with us. I, do, I showed my first signs of magic when I was three. I have spent almost all of my life hiding this. It's really hard to break that habit. <laughs> mm. Really hard to break that habit. <laughs> well. Practice. You cannot live up to your potential if you don't work hard. That's very wise, actually, yes. Thank you. It's what my dad told me every day. Well, at least he was right about that. I think I would have liked your father. Oh, <laughs> mm. uh, your hand's a little cold or something. I don't want to know it's shaking so much. Huh. Lux, what's your secret? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exposition, exposition. Uh, uh, throughout this conversation, like, they ha I don't think anyone's picked up on it. I mean, maybe if they're looking directly at Lux. But when, when Issa just revealed that, you know, her, growing up in her family, Lux is, looks a little paler. Mm -hmm. Like, he's very... Yeah, and, and Issa, but, would have, Issa would have been checking, because she's connected the most with Locks at the moment, so she's, like, checking in with him periodically and be like, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just really, I'm, it's great to hear about your dad and how important he was in your life and your mom and how important they were in your life and the, your the leader, my, my whole your, village being a lie. Right. You're, <laughs> you're, you're really pale, Locks. Uh, oh, it's nothing. And then... 
Rook's just gonna kind of just like rub his face and then go back. It looks like he's getting a little more color in his cheeks, like back to what was originally before. Hmm. Okay. Well. <laughs> Sorry. I want to insight, but I, I want to. <laughs> I, I kind of want to as well, but I'm not going to. Um... But I, I, I agree with Halbert. I think we should start, and he's going to start going, t- beelining for the. Uh, the desks that were not open, and just kind of start I'm, looking I'm, through stuff. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the study. Whatever paperwork he has okay. is gonna probably be in there. But I'm gonna pause at, at Lox's shoulder before I go out and like lean down and say quietly. Lox is like rummaging through. Hey. Huh. For whatever it's worth, you you can trust me. I do. I know, but you can. It's okay. Okay. Let's just like squeeze his shoulder yeah. and keep going. And even though she squeezes and he trusts her and everything, when he sque- when she puts her hand on her shoulder and squeezes, he's gonna kind of she like stops, tense up a little, be like, bit. like, oh. yeah. Hey. Huh? I'm not gonna hurt you. No, I know, no, no, I know, I know. I'm just really trying to focus on and kind of. All right. Be going through some paper. One of the things I'm very good at is deception. I recognize when I'm being diverted. <laughs> <laughs> is this a clue? <laughs> And, and just like kind of ball of hair, yeah. <laughs> just kind of kind, kind of kind of look at him, nod a little bit, and then head for the study to start sorting right. through the papers, whatever's left. We are going to do <clears throat> group investigation check. Love it, nice. So everybody with an investigation check. <laughs> oh God. Please. That's intelligence, ah, right? Movie. That is intelligence. Okay, that All was right. cool. that was pretty. <laughs> I want to take that role if it wasn't strong that. suit. <laughs> Eight. Okay. Okay. I don't use this side. That's what I thought. Negative. Mm-hmm. Oh, I might have uh, mm-hmm. run out of power. Oh, oh, don't did it run out of power? It shouldn't have. Button? Where's the button? Oh, oh, thank you. I, I mean, I told okay. Thomas to charge him, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bundy? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> oh, and that one. Oh! oh. So that's... Oh, come on! Wait, what's wrong with Are any cards? Can we. Not really. Yeah. Can we all inspire each other? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I mean, I'm happy to add to mine because I got an 18. Oh. Okay. So, but you know, it's a group. Add so, yours. Huh? Add yours. Why don't we add all of ours? We I'll have. Do it. We have the coins. Okay. We have. So I will. The coin. I, I, all right. And I'll send two. Woohoo! We have the coins. There we go. And a six. That'll be five. So that would be a okay. uh, what? Thirteen. I got a dot of 20. Nice. Six. And six. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twenty. Eight. 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 <laughs> Lala. Lala. <laughs> uh, uh, Wake up. Lala did from not roll well. <laughs> 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 no, no, dream. <laughs> the dresser drawer. <laughs> so, so as, Amazing. so you, you kind of go through this desk, um, and. <laughs> In here, it, there's a, there's is definitely, there's writing materials, there are pens, there are, you know, inks and quills. Um, this is a space where if somebody was here, um, they would have access to stuff to write, stuff to send notes, stuff to, uh, you actually see a, a seal of the um, Kingdom of Thorian there. You see some wax. Um, there aren't any writings on any of the paper. Mm. Uh, and as you go through the rest of the house, um, it is impossible to tell what is what and where things should be. Um, it needs to be cleaned up before you can really try and find anything. So uh, when do our servants get here? It's going to be Andrew out of one of the rooms. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm still sorting through, like, the, the stacks of papers and things that got thrown around the study. Yeah. So, th- as a group check, that was a, a big fail. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm, I'm gathering. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, um, it was an intelligence yeah. check for when we um, have two people who are negative intelligence. Big fail. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we did, we did our best. But uh, it, it, it doesn't mean that there's not something here and you won't find it at some point. It just means that um, you're going to have to methodically 
put everything back where you think it belongs. And that is going to take probably hours. Well, maybe, we maybe Haldor has a point. I mean, terrible. we could probably hire someone to like professionally I clean. I don't want strangers in here. Oh. Who, who, who knows who's connected to whom? I'm, just, I'm new in this city. I have no idea who's connected to who. Uh, I mean, we could just as easily get, you know, someone that fucking Codus might have, might, have, might have paid off to Who? stick information. Yes. Coitus. Coitus, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, you know, there's, I think we do it ourselves. I, I barely feel comfortable leaving this mansion, but I'm gonna. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> All right, cleaning episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lalak wakes up from his dream. Mm. Yay! And the five of you spend... Essentially, the full day, cleaning everything. Mm -hmm. um, you do find stacks of papers, um, journal stuff. Um, you kind of set it aside to go through later. Mm -hmm. um, and you eventually, you know, there's not like, you know, sandwiches or food, you know, thrown about. It's just you have to pick up yeah. stuff, put it back where it goes. Um, you make the beds. Yeah, and um, if there's any spilled things, I'd, I'd use precipitation to okay. clean yeah. them Flower up. Flower pots that have Practice. you know Practice. broken. Practice. Do you have mending? I do. Okay, so you fix a fa flower pot mm -hmm. and you know scoop the <laughs> scoop the dirt, dirt back, back in. in. Yeah, um, and and let, like hold it together with my thumbs as I'm as I'm murmuring to myself. As the <laughs> as the sun begins to set, you clear finally clear everything out. Um, light the the uh, oil lamps throughout the place and that is when Isa in the study you actually see a door or a piece of the wall that looks a little off. Locks? Haldor Barry Hello? Hello Hello <laughs> 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 Excellent. Excellent. Dreaming? Dreaming? <laughs> Hello, Olaf. Um, I think that's a secret door. And I'll go over and start, like, feeling, looking for uh, a, a catch, like, pulling books out, you know, all the things, all the mm. things that you read about in adventure stories for yeah. opening secret doors. You want me to use my axe? No, because we might, we might be able to use it. And if you break it, it'll be harder to use. All right, well, I still feel like my way is more exciting. All right, now, yes. perception or investigation check, whichever is higher. Perception I will happily do. Okay. You said intimidation check? <laughs> you got a nat 20, dude. I did get a nat 20. Yes. Yeah, nat 20. 19. Uh, I got 14. 21. Oh! <laughs> so, wow. so uh, as Iza points out, uh, this kind of, you know, panel that looks a little weird, you just kind of start, you know, pulling stuff and... And you pull a book and it like comes out and stops. And then you, you know, you're like, oh, look at this thing. And you like, you know, hit a button and then, you know, you're like, push on the, <laughs> on the door. <laughs> Guys, I did it. Yeah. And, it, and, it <laughs> and it slides off to the side. And inside is a small five foot by five foot room. I just real quick wanted to say when I did that, I was like, Guys, it's a secret door. <laughs> secret tunnel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll grab for a candle and use prestidigitation to light it and hold it into the room. Is it, does, it, does that work? Is that what prestidigitation? Prestidigitation does a lot of things, mm -hmm. and one of them is lighting lighting the candle. And if not, it'll light. It smells if, like fire. If she struggles, yeah. he'll, the blocks will go. Pff, and like yeah. Do you have light? light? I do have light. It's uh, you instantaneously light or snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire. Gotcha. Um, so as you light that up, you um, immediately realize that there are bookshelves in here. Ooh. Uh, and that's a nat one. <gasps> and one of them starts on fire. It starts on fire? Oh, a, shit. A, how, you how? just kind of like, you're leaning over and then... <laughs> I'm gonna immediately like close it, close my hand in front of it to like okay. snuff out the so size that, of, a, of a small campfire. So that sh that and the torch go out, That's and there's a little bit of a, a burning smell <laughs> in in the room. Uh, Lox is just gonna reach and kind of like grab whoever's next to him, which is Mister Hello, and then cast light. If we cast into darkness, like 
So the armor or something? Okay, like yeah, just, on his armor. Yeah, so yeah, just like, you're just glowing now. <laughs> so we can see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, I am chosen <laughs> of air. You knew oh, that was going to happen. That was me. That, uh, that was me. Just sorry. Just this is going to go straight to his head. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> see, you, Bartholomew. You, you knew that I was told going to happen. You. No, no, no. I, I, the well, I didn't know who was did next to me. <laughs> Not your god, the 12 year old. I did it. Well, I mean. Uh, this is all Haldor, buddy. I'm sorry. Like I, like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still practicing. Anyway, um. I don't know if it was you. Oh, wait, it was it you? <clears throat> kind of yeah. I thought it was some sort of. Actually, I'm not sure. It, 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 was, what, it what, was it was it catching trap. off of off of the the candle or? Yeah, was off it? The, yeah. Oh, I thought it was a trap too. That's why I got freaked out. Oh, and no, that's right. why. That's, that's gotcha. why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So in on this main bookshelf. Once my eyes recover from the sudden <laughs> blinding light that's over there. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> it can be difficult to witness greatness, I understand. Uh, uh, Lox, if Valor <laughs> keeps going, Lox is going to grab something else in the room, whatever it is. Aziz! So it's going to transfer it. And so it's just it gonna, yeah, and then it comes to, I don't know okay. what else is yeah. in the room. A book, just a book. You yeah, it was but a taste of my power. You was filling me with blinding rage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay, um, so as you start to examine this this, this wall, the, the, the tomes are leather-bound tomes, and you kind of pull some, and inside are names and dates. Um, this is, uh, and this one that you just kind of pulled off 20 years ago, and it has dates and names, a, a location, and, and then you get to different items, um, different activities. Uh, and it is a journal of basically his teachings. And as you look through that, um, it is immediately clear that Alby was definitely up to something. Um, he is, he is uh, for instance, there is a, um, there is a section uh, where he describes teaching um, the kids about time. And how long it takes the guards to change shifts in a city. Oh, and, <laughs> uh, and as you continue to read through all of this, it is a collection of information that has been gathered about uh, noble families, about governments, about militaries all across the continent. I'm going to flip through and see if there's anything from what would have been my year. Okay. Are they new, are they linear? Like, have we deciphered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can linear? kind of, you see they are definitely linear. Um, they are definitely newer towards the right. Um, and you kind of pull off one. It's not the right one. You kind of, okay, uh, it was a little bit back further. And then you find, and you actually get to, is this Andrew Obisi? Um, Laloc Denai. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Yeah, because we're about the same age. Oh, uh, he actually he was much newer than you. That's just true. That's right. We, originally, we were going to have them be in the same class. That's but, right. No. No. Nah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking so at. Yeah. I, I want to know what he was trying to figure out in and around Mage Haven. Okay. And about me and my family or anything like that. Okay. So someone want to tell me what's going on here? Uh, I am still figuring <laughs> yeah. it out. Um, but he was. Yeah, he was. He gave to, a couple looks. And then, yeah. He was gathering information yeah. about governments and families and like the kind of thing that people pay ransoms for, king's ransoms. Oh, he was not good. I don't know what he was doing. I, well, I don't know I what he was doing him. with this information is the thing. Could have I mean, been good. Right. He was clearly putting it here, but to on what, these shelves. But to what purpose? You don't, yeah. you don't, you don't gather this kind of information unless you're doing something with it. So, when, so when you were looking at that um, at the guard schedules, mm -hmm. what you didn't see was the guard schedules. You saw a description of what he would, what he was doing to get the guard schedules. So, so he in here are not the secrets that he was gathering. In here are the methods and the people he used to gather the secrets. Okay. So what kinds of things was he looking at in and around so, my family? In and around, I mean, I'm, I'm very yes. selfish at the moment. I want to at least, mm -hmm. just um, like, what is going on? So in here, it was definitely a lot of trying to um, get the lay of the land in the city about how 
the mages felt about the clerics, about who is in power, who is on the Council of Merrick. Um, you definitely, I mean, you names you recognize that mm -hmm. have been there, well, Forever. that were there on the Council when you were 10. Um, your mother is in there. Eunice is in there. Mm -hmm. um, the, it, it, it is not so much, it's not that sinister when you are looking at it. Um, but you definitely see that he did use you to um, try and get information on what was happening on the council. Is there any kind of a note by my name? Because I'm noticing that there are a lot of names over like 40 years, but there's only five of us that were named in the will. Um, there is nothing that indicates something different. Mm -hmm. um, however, you do see, um, you know, in your name, sorceress ability, possible divine. Um, possible. You can share possible. that or not. If you are, are you guys looking over the shoulder? No, if, okay. if I, I'm assuming we kind of gathered yeah. that this is this. Lox is actually going to look for his, for Barry's file and Haldor's, because you know numbers. Uh, I, I have <laughs> so, upside down. And like, yes, yes. So Lox is going to want to kind of try, at least find theirs. I don't know if they can read. I mean, he's... I can read. I'm just not going to retain the information. Yeah, There's a difference. So I, oh, you know, you would know how to read. You know how to read. Yes, but whether or not he retains the information. <laughs> I, the upside down book. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but la but last. Of course I do. I had the finest tutors, like Elby. But 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 <laughs> but last last campaign, uh, Aaron played Ruckus, who oh. was a noble who couldn't read. All right. Well, <laughs> Lox is gonna look for himself too, but he'll look for okay. he wants to find there. Um, that was definitely so really go, frustrating. So looking enough. specifically <laughs> towards. Um, Berries, mm -hmm. um, because of the whole gold neck thing you yeah. just talked about. I'm very curious. You, I mean, you go through the whole thing. Um, you get the, you know, um, sort of a description, uh, like a uh, excellent uh, specimen of human of humanity, um, massive. I'm not you know, not telling, <laughs> not telling him that. What's it say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it says you're pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, oh. You do not see cool. anything in there about. The Acts of the Dwarven Lord. Mm. Um, you do see um, in there trying, uh, use, specifically using um, Barry to get closer to the founder of Moonscale Village. Reveal it. Tell him all that. Okay. What you just said. Oh, okay. And the others there, not just him, right? I mean, but that was sort of, sort of the focus of trying to figure out why this whole place was here. Um, Bastard. At all. I didn't. He was manipulating us the whole time. I mean, to get information. And information is worth. It, I would say it's weight in gold, but it's far more than that. It is what makes everything work. Um, everything in the world. I mean, I was an impressive warrior even as a teenager, but it's. I can't believe he would take advantage. Manipulate me into, into, into getting closer to my leader, the uh, village leader. You, he did that. Sounds like it. I mean, he never did that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Podcasters, I'm opening a book. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I did a sound effect of yeah. Even yeah. the door. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you going to look up Haldors? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you you look at Haldors. Um, it is it is the it is the only one that stands out as different. Oh. Um, in so much that it's, the writing is terse. It is very, um, it's, it was quicker. And then you just kind of see, fuck it, I'll teach him Dwarvish. <laughs> 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 he was so frustrated by you, yeah. and he couldn't even manipulate yeah. you. Oh my oh. god, that's amazing. <laughs> so why did he name you in the will? Sorry, that's, yeah. that's, that's you, the player red stringing. Are you what turned him into an awful person? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course not. 
Wow. You know, why would you think that? Because he sounds How could I turn anyone into an awful person? Oh. I mean, if someone had, let's just say hypothetically, someone has a very short temper, <laughs> then yes, I think you will drive them insane. And generally, teachers shouldn't have short tempers, but I take your meaning. Mm. He didn't sound like a good teacher. He sounded like a good liar. He was a good teacher. You could, both things can be simultaneously true. Well, I, I liked the way I, I said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. It was very convincing. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> the way you were holding your hands out with the book, I was like, please don't say it, Thomas. It's like, <laughs> the book is just very, you know, girthy. <laughs> it's, like a, it's a very large. Oh. It's like fighting it. Yeah. It's so. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh, with three C's, a Q, U, and an E. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Lox will look for himself then, I guess. Okay. If if he, if he finds it, because that would have been weeks ago, not like early. You know, like yeah, within yeah. the past few the, months. Maybe he knew his death was coming. Oh wait, he died of old age. Yeah, he knew. <laughs> I mean, he didn't know that his death was coming because he left tickets for us. Yeah. For the games that are starting. You think he oh, yeah. can attend it with us? I doubt it. No. It was left very specifically in the box for us. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I think he had a pretty good idea when he was going to die. Like what you were saying, so why us five? It's a good question. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. You just say he knew when he was going to die? It seems like. Because he, because he did something that was very specifically timed for the games. The games means he knew he was going to die? He left us tickets to the games, which meant that he knew that we were going to be opening the box that we would only open upon his death. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> As... We'll, we'll, we'll re-explain it later. <laughs> like I said, uh, red string is one of my favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> Haldor's not good at it. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. It's adorable to watch it you so be very fun. smart and, and play very stupid. <laughs> Um, These are tickets to see the the arena, correct? Not yes. to participate in it. Not as far as I know. I we better not. I better not be participating in it. No, thank you. Well, I'm just saying we don't know how far this reaches. He could have left something there as a clue, prize, or maybe it's only this house. Maybe. I mean, he knew I liked athletic things. Maybe he just wanted to give me a gift. He knew sure. I, he knew I didn't. He was very aware that I did not like uh, the hallway and the schlepping and the building fires. And... Mm. I can do it. I just don't like carrying the backpacks. It sucks. <laughs> I will carry the backpacks. Thank you. I'm going to look at the rest of the shelves. Are all of them records of his teaching? Yes. Holy shit. I mean, he, he for basically 55 years, mm. he had and been traveling across the continent huh. every year visiting places again and again and again wait God. look up the people from the from the will from the reading of the will they wouldn't be in his and oh. i don't know if we know oh. their their time like we all have time frames of where we yeah, knew what happened but i don't know anything about me neither when okay. he came across there although doing research into those people would be a good idea yeah. i want to go down to, i want to go down to that market and leave the house unprotected. I mean, yeah, well, a lot of people will be here. <laughs> he goes I back mean, not to tonight. Just, just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, Lock. <laughs> oh, no, who could have foreseen this? <laughs> All right, well, we should... <sighs> Retcon that real quick. <laughs> we should get our things. Are, is, are our things still at the hotel? Yes. We should get our things from the hotel and lock everything up really well tonight. And I think we get some food because dinner time was several hours ago. And I'm hungry and, well, kind of filthy. I had a dragon claw. And that was yeah. like seven hours ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, all, we all heard Lox's stomach growl. We did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we should get some food. We should get some rest. <laughs> but I also think it might not be a bad idea to set a watch tonight. Okay. Agree. Because maybe the, the the dwarf is going to come back and try to finish what they were doing. Because I think that they might have been looking for this. This room of 
spy master. Is it just mm. that too? It's just yeah. all records. There's yeah. no any nothing else in it. No. Do, do, well, he wasn't smart like Haldor and could not find it. I wonder if ignoring that as well. <laughs> I wonder if um. I wonder if he was a spy master for someone. What is that? I mean, what it says in the tin. Someone who it, uh, organizes a spy network. Oh. You Never heard of it. It seems like everyone was unwilling. It seems like these kids didn't even know that they were spying. I mean, you guys didn't know you were spying. No. No. That's honestly the best kind of spy network to have. Yeah, Spies are so funny. cowardly. Because if you don't know what you know, if you don't if you don't know what you know, then you can't pass it on to anyone else. And you said that there was a, a seal of the kingdom of Thoria. Mm -hmm. Maybe she. Maybe he worked for the queen. I'm very confused. Mm, yeah. Or the royal family, I guess, if it was over 50 fucking years. I mean, you do know that I don't get he was politics. sponsored by, by, the, by, the, by the queen, and Xavier Bishop was his handler, if you will. And that's the one that was giving us the most evil eye at the... He was, he was keeping an eye on us. Someone was giving us a stink eye? Remember at the thing when I pointed at... Oh. Yeah, I was trying to get... <laughs> Yeah, you kept looking at me weird and tightly. I was just trying to give you guys or digestion. Okay. Well, next time I'm going like this for the podcasters. Lox is throwing his eyes across the room. <laughs> something else. It means you, you like pull them out of your head and throw them across yeah, the room. Like, literally. <laughs> it just there's something amiss. I thought something your hair funky. was in your face. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, how long is your head? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like super short. It's like, it's like a buzz cut. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Don't change a thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is entirely possible that we might have just stuck our foot in. And when three-fifths of us are teenagers, I kind of hate this. <laughs> it does suck. But you met him closer to the end. So Well, that's what is in the file. I want to, if I found the file. Oh, yeah. My file. What does it say about locks? And what they were looking for. Do you want me to say it out loud? Oh, are there secrets? Secrets. secrets. Okay. Keep no friends or something. Yeah. Make noise. Where's that from again? You don't remember? It's Galavan. Oh, I need to actually watch Galavan. I have I have seen a couple episodes enough to know that I will love it when I sit down and watch it. I saw some kind of thing. Some sort of like Facebook ad because they know how to hook me. Sure. You went for it. That was like, hey. You knew it. Okay. Reports Galavan may become on a stage show or something like that. Ooh. Oh, okay. That'd be cool. All right. We're talking about Galavan. That's crazy. Um, what what are you willing to share with us? So, Lo I guess then Locks find that he finds it. You find it. I mean, but did you claim that you were looking for it? I don't think you did. I think you were just yeah, just kind you know, of. You, look, so yeah. so you see Locks pull off a book, open it up, go to a page, and what happens? Uh, his face goes completely like oh, not literally, but like sheet white, like, like pale, super pale, and who's close the book? Is it is immediately at how, his side? How, how white? So we all know. Are we talking? That? No, like just just like pale, pale. Like not, you yeah, know, like when someone blanching. Get, like not whoa. got it. Not literally. Was yeah. there a ghost in that book, boy? Is it is immediately at his side? Her hands hovering a little ways away from his shoulders, because if she because if he's going to faint. <laughs> Lox. He's Lox is going to hand the book to Issa. Mm hmm. Is this what hurt him? <laughs> and I, I'm gonna dart backwards with it in my hands. Did she dart closer? And then you would protect the book that hurt Lux. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's grabbing. He's sharing a secret. Uh, it's not a no. It's not a secret. I just just look at what it. Just look at this. Ow. And um and then Lux is gonna kind of walk back into the corner. And with I'm his at, eyes locked on. Yes, sir. And I'm going to actually turn so that my back is to a, is to a bookcase and back up and open it. Should I say it out loud? Yeah, or you can say it too. Okay. Uh, so in there, it says Locks. Pretending to be a 14-year-old boy is a 40-year-old changeling. Her eyes flick up. What? 20? 20, <laughs> 21, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 12 to 21. <laughs> okay. 12 to 21 year old changeling. Her eyes go wide and flick up briefly before going back down to the page. Travels as 
Larzina, a elven singer. Did she say that out loud? No. no. Gotcha. Not a chance <laughs> in the hells. I just look at it. Okay. Close up. The hell is in that book? It's up to Lox if he wants to share it. Well, I didn't judge her for the magic. I'll just say that. No pressure, but if you have a unique skill, utilize it. Um. Okay. And then, uh, so the white that Lox looks, like, you know, him pale, you see him start to go super, super pale. He just starts turning sheet white, mm. like super, super white. His eyes kind of gloss over into this, like, black, like, yeah. Oh, my God. Like, oh, give, give me the book. Give, give me the book. Wait, 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 And then he's just like, um, honey, honey, it's okay. So am I. Okay, don't. As he looks he's like this, freaking don't out. freak out. out the fucking way. That's no, don't freak out. I might You're not. You're in a You're all in this five point. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like squished together. I imagine I'm trying to get the book from Ethan. <laughs> you think, you think a book? I said it. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, I, I, if if, if Halbert keeps trying, I'm gonna jam the book into his throat. Oh, oh no, he stops now. <laughs> and, oh. and then okay, so I might not be I might not be twelve, and and then his voice is gonna get deeper. And he's like, I might be twenty one, and I might not be a twelve year old boy. And <laughs> this is okay. So this is how I knew that something was going on. It's just easier for me to travel as a 12-year-old boy really? and not, yeah, and not be People underestimate you when attacked you're or threatened or anything like that. I don't really have any skills except surviving, but... And the transforming! How could, well, how could he, and then he's going to start referencing the book, kind of now in his own mind, like, how could he know? How did he know? There's no way he could know that. So, Lox is a... Uh-huh. Is a changeling. And he shouldn't have known that. He shouldn't have been able to, because Albie wrote it in this book. And he also wrote in, in my entry that I was a sorcerer with divine magic, and no one should know that. But he did. Oh. How the hell did he know these things? He had to have been a spy master. Or something. Someone who could read minds, maybe. Yeah. What? Halor is looking right at Locke's. This kind of look at its face, on its face. Which has gone back to what you guys recognize him to be. Oh, no, 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 oh, I, I fended him. <laughs> you lied to me, Lux. I was protecting myself, Haldor. You were protecting yourself from Haldor. I guess so. But now you trust Haldor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The look on your face was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I like you too. <laughs> Gives him a hug. It, <laughs> it in Behind the scenes, Lox has, ever since meeting Haldor, been fascinated, but everyone here, but Haldor especially. So this moment, because he looked up at Haldor as like, God, look at this cool, t this is the guy that I wish I could be. Because he's 21, he's been like this wimpy kid, you know, he's trying to just survive and whatever, shitty childhood. And he's looking at Haldor and he's just, everything I wish I could be is this guy. So to get the kind of support from something that he wished he could be and and hearing that he just saw he just saw his biggest secret revealed he's gonna he's gonna give in to the hug he might get a little emotional there Aww. he might be getting a little emotional 
Embarrass- embarrassingly so. But he'll be getting a little, like... Yeah, is this, is this gonna come over and put a hand on Lox's shoulder from behind and be like, it's okay. Bombs. It's okay. I hope I did not offend by screaming holy fuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. No, why would you? <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> uh, still a judge. No, I, in retrospect, in, uh, <clears throat> he'll kind of revert to his... His adult voice. It's like in in retrospect, uh, Barry, that probably was not the smartest thing to do. Uh, <laughs> on, to on, on, you, on his part, not yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to show you my true form, without letting you know. like yeah. a little warning. I, a uh, I, warning. I <laughs> just don't appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I I, uh, I didn't flip because I just read it, and I mean, you hear stories of changelings, but I mean, I, just, I have not. I have also not. <laughs> I All right, shit about fine. Like, I, I heard the name when you said it, actually. <laughs> All right, fine. I grew up on stories of adventures and bold deeds, and there, there's a couple. There's a couple changelings who, who who have that kind of story, and it's really cool. It's yeah. It's it's. I, it's the only way I I I learned how to survive is to Hi. blend in and not. No one pays attention to a twelve year old street kid until you guys did on this trip. So. You suddenly have a. I should have put my hand in front of you. Oh, I did it a lot. You, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You did. You, you were just in front of it so a lot. You say, I'm just this little street kid. You suddenly remember in the alley, out back, there was a weird little street kid looking at you, looking at the group. By the recently or the seven yeah. hours ago seven hours okay. ago <laughs> seven hours ago by the uh, pastry cart <clears throat> wait guys what? Hold, hold on I think would I recognize them before or this is just something yeah. weird street it, kid yeah like you weird street kid chain changing you you were you were looking for a dwarf with a red beard and a Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? what, what, what? Uh, <laughs> did I just uh, word vomit of I think maybe the alley uh the dwarf speak boy the, there was the, there was the the, the, the dwarf Uh-huh. But by the pastries when we were buying the pastries and yeah. the, the dragon claw the, the there was a street kid a 12-year-old street kid. Okay. Is it someone that you know, or...? No, but I think that maybe... Maybe there's someone else like me... Oh. ...in this oh. in this city. We were looking for a dwarf, not a, not someone else. Not a did I lock eyes with the, the street kid, or no? Did I just Probably for that? just a slight moment Did before. I pick up anything? No. Okay. No. How common are changelings? Not, I... I I don't know. I, I, I haven't... I mean, where, where are you from? Yeah. Uh, long story... Oh, gosh, I don't have my backstory. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> I am from... I don't remember the uh, Actually, yeah. um, that is a great moment. Sorry, because I was like... Oh. It's, uh, it is ten. Oh, okay. Yes. We, I think, uh, uh, before we do that, make me an Arcana check. <gasps> mm. Okay. Uh, 18. 18. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of spells that mask who you are. I, w- the, I will point no, that. Just, I, just in general. There's yeah. this guy's self. There's alter self. There's yeah. a lot of... Wow. I'll, I'll point, gotcha. I'll point that out, out, out loud. I'll say it because it was too smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 I will point good, that... Good role playing, sir. Very good. Good role playing, sir. You know, Lox... Um, you don't necessarily have to be born with the ability to change your face. People can do that with magic. There's a lot of magic that does that sort of thing. Whether it's just like an illusion over or actually physically changing your body, people can learn that. So could, it doesn't necessarily have to be another change. So I could, be, I could be fixed? Why would you want to... Fixed? 
There's nothing you need to fix, boy. No, what, 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 I, what I mean is, um, it, it might not be another changeling. Oh. It might be someone who either was born with magic or learned it to change their selves, whether by putting up an illusion or by physically changing their bodies for a time. Okay. Barry, there is no way a dwarf would have outrun you. Oh my god. 25 feet movement. Yeah, good point. Stubby. He's too stubby. The dwarves can't... They're too stubby. They can't do it. All of a sudden, we get this, like... <laughs> stubby, stubby. What's that? Like, what? Well, and then it could also be the person that was... That I was think in he your... does this often. <laughs> but then it could also have been the person who was in your village. Because it, it, it might not have been a dwarf. It might have been someone under the Alter Self spell. Because you could change your whole body in that. Could've... Show me. I can't do it. Are you sure? Can you change like I haven't people? learned it yet. How's that? Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just asked, can, can you change link to other people? Um, or change do me! Do me! <laughs> do me! Oh, this is gonna be great for Saturday! Oh, and no. can I say it up? Oh, yes! And, yes. Okay, as you hear, do <laughs> me! Do <laughs> me! <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and the dolly he, pulls away. Exactly. <laughs> and Lalak, his head comes in. Uh, what did I miss? <laughs> Long story, buddy. Go back to sleep. Just tell me. As he sees, as he sees two hell doors, one little one and one big one, like, like just turn and look at him. I'm dreaming. No. Oh God. My dream come true. Okay. It's <laughs> dream come true. Just change uh, things. Oh, okay. So much for Saturday. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh man. There's. Uh, it's amazing. So many. I wish we could have ended on the bombshell or on the on the the. It, it's that was a bombshell that we ended yeah, on. So, that was so yeah. great. Um, yeah. We are going to be back next Tuesday, I believe. Um, still sat no Warren. <sighs> Damn. Get Warren, get your ass back yeah. in the bay. I'm losing my shit. <laughs> we miss you. I want to jump into your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and your pants. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that so, goes without saying. <laughs> and your dream pants. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please give us a follow on Twitch, a sub on YouTube, and a review on a podcast app of your choice. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast feed on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, etc. Because we put out um, an interlude podcast. It's not an interlude. It's an extra podcast to five to five minutes. I mean, three to six. They minutes. are kind of interludes yeah. because because they're pulling away from the main action to remark on the action. Yes. Uh, somewhat of a recap. They're less of a recap than I had uh, at first envisioned. Um, it's a good way to get a sense of the rest of the world. I love and that, yeah. How world. exactly mm-hmm. uh, we move through it and leave the yeah. waves of chaos behind I us. I can't wait to hear the pastry chef story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that has to be who it is, right? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> uh, but uh, so the last one that went out, it was Jackson Kotas, who had met you guys and. Um, his paranoia of like, wait a minute, these maybe these guys are trying to set me up, mm-hmm. you know, because he he doesn't know you guys. He just so he's uh, um, so you get sort of a, a different perspective in the world of people interacting with you guys, which is like cool. It. Yeah, uh, and those usually come out Tuesday mornings because I finally get writing them and recording them. And, 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 and for this podcast, I try to get it out on Sunday. I just have to get files in time. <laughs> uh, Subtly throwing Thomas yes. under the bus there. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys. Thank you to our two winners, Duke Fleek and Squeal the Bard. Um, thank you to Nord you. Games for being our sponsor. Love, Love them. them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are super excited about that. Um, and you guys, you know, don't wait to win something. You should go and buy all the, all the Nord Games stuff now. Indeed. Uh, and then the rest of this week, we have the redacted reports tomorrow morning and Saturday. We're back with Call of Cthulhu. Oh, yes. We are. Oh. Children of Fear returns. Um, that should be an interesting <laughs> show to come back to. Mm-hmm. I can't 
Congrats to Natural One again. Yes. Yay! 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 Very and Monday to start yes. your week off Monday, right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> critical fail. Oh my God. Yeah. Let's hope there's no TPK. But uh, <laughs> this, this combat that's coming up, if, if you guys know what's coming up, uh, it's it's it can it can have some ramifications. It'll be nice. fun. Sure. I'm gonna talk about my backup character. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. Because I yeah. Nice. I All right. Agree. Cool. So thank you guys so much. Good night. Uh, mm. As soon as we go to the end slate, I will raid someone Woo! and give them, you know, all the emotes and all the spams and hang around for as long as you can before. Give, give them, we give them our love. Yes. Kiss them. Kiss. So, <laughs> bye everyone. Good night. Bye.